Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly click on subscribe button for more videos. Today, we have this math Olympiad challenge. We are asked to find the value of M and N. If you look at this equation carefully, you will see that we have two unknown exponents, that is M and N, and we are asked to find the value of them. So, Follow me to the end of this video so that you'll be able to know how to solve this kind of challenge whenever you have it. First of all, let's write our question. Solution. So we have 2 raised to the power m minus 2 raised to the power n to be equal to 8064. So the first thing that you must have in mind is that looking at this particular equation, it shows that m must be greater than n. For us to have positive result, m must be greater than n. Have that in mind. Once you have that in mind, don't forget that. So when m is greater than n, we can simply write our expression as m to be equal to n plus a particular constant, let's say k, for instance. Since m is greater than n, then we can simply write m to be equal to n plus something. So that particular something I represented with, with k. Let's say for instance, and don't forget, our k must be greater than 0. So fine. Once you understand it up to this stage, so let me name this particular one as equation 1. So this particular one as equation 2. So... From my equation 1, I want to substitute for the value of n, m, so that whenever I see m, I will write n plus k. So let me rewrite my equation 1. So equation 1 says 2 raised to the power m. So what's the value of m? n plus k minus 2 raised to the power n. So to be equal to 8064. So doing this, this is easy and straightforward. And don't forget the principle of indices that says whenever you have a raised to the power x multiplied by a raised to the power y, this can simply be written as a raised to the power x plus y. So if you look at this and relate it with this, so the reverse of this equation, so we can easily reverse this particular expression to this so that we'll be having 2 raised to the power n Multiply by the same 2 raised to the power k minus 2, this 2 raised to the power n to be equal to 8064. So, once you understand it up to this stage, it's easy and straightforward now. We have 2 raised to the power n here and we have 2 raised to the power n here. So, it's easy for us to, fa to factor out 2 raised to the power n from this expression. So, we'll be having 2 raised to the power n into bracket 2 raised to the power k minus 1. So, to be equal to 8064. So, this is making sense, right? So, after factoring out 2 raised to the power n, so we are having 2 raised to the power n to be equal to 2 raised to the power n to be equal to 2 raised to the power k minus 1 to be equal to 8064. So, the next thing we need to do is to look for the factor of 8064. So, once we are able to get the factor of 8064, so we are good to go. So the factor that I'll be going with will be 128 and 63. So this shows that I'll be having 2 raised to the power n into bracket 2 raised to the power k minus 1 close bracket to be equal to 128 multiplied by 63. So if you multiply 128 by 63, you must have 8064. So using product rule, I will be equating 2 raised to the power n to be equal, I will be equal to raised power n with 128 and 2 raised power k minus 1 with 63 using product rule. So I will be having 2 raised power n to be equal to 128 and my k 2 raised power k minus 1 to be equal to 63. 2 raised power k minus 1 to be equal to 63. So let me find the value of n. Yes, yeah, so I have 2 raised by n to be equal to. So 128 can be simply be written as 2 raised to power 7. So if you multiply 7, if you multiply 2 in 7 places, you must have 128. So according to the law of indices, 
this two, we cancel out this two. So our n will be equal to 7. So once we have our n to be 7, and recall, recall that from here, our m, so recall that, so we have 2, recall that m is equal to n plus k from here. Don't forget. So let's, let me find the value of k. So we have 2 this power k minus 1 is equal to 63. So 2 plus power k will now be equal to 64. So our 2 plus power k will be equal to, so we can find index form of 64. So that will be 2 plus to power 6. So 2 plus power 6 will give us 64. So these two cancel out these two. Our k will be equal to 6. So from here, since we recall that m is equal to n plus k, so our m we got the words n plus k. So therefore, the value of m, we now have the value of n, our n is equal to 7, plus what the value of k, k is equal to 6. Therefore, our m will be equal to 13. So let me take this from the beginning. From this challenge, we have 2 raised to our m minus 2 raised to our n to be equal to 8064. So we are asked to find the value of m and n. Solution from here, we write our equation as 2 raised to our m minus 2 raised to our n is equal to 8064 as equation 1. So where m must be greater than n to have positive answer. Therefore, the value of m must be greater than n. So and we divide this particular expression, that is, since m is greater than n, it shows that m will be equal to n plus particular number. So we, re, we, we represented that particular number as k. So this shows that our m will be equal to what n plus k. This particular k is unknown. Now, and don't forget, k must be greater than 0. So therefore, we represented this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. So from our equation 1, we substitute for the value of m so that whenever we see m here, yeah, so we replace it with what? With n plus k. That's why we have 2 raised to the n plus k minus 2 raised to the n to be equal to 8064. And don't forget this principle of indices that says a raised to the x dot a raised to the y to be equal to a raised to the x plus y. So we reverse this particular expression to now be equal to 2 raised to the n dot 2 raised to the k minus 2 raised to the n to be equal to 8064. So therefore, we have 2 raised to the n that is common in both sides. So we can factor out 2 raised to the n. So that's that why we have 2 raised to the n to get 2 raised to the k minus 1 to be equal to 8064. So therefore, we looked for the factor of 8064 to be 128 times 63. So 2 raised to the n into to get 2 raised to the k minus 1 will now be equal to 128 times 63. So, using product rule, 2 raised to the n will now be equal to 128 and 2 raised to the k minus 1 will be equal to 63. So, from here, 2 raised to the n is equal to 128, 2 raised to the k minus 1 is equal to 63. So, from 2 raised to the n is equal to 128, it shows that 2 raised to the n will now be equal to 2 raised to the 7. When we write index form of 128, we can simply have 2 raised to the 7. So, we cancel the base. Since we have the same base, we cancel them and we equate the power which shows that our n is equal to 7. And recall that m is equal to m plus k. So it shows that 2 raised to the power k minus 1 is equal to 63. 2 raised to the power k will be equal to 64 when we had this particular one. So we can write index form of 68 to be 2 raised to the power 6. So 2 raised to the power k will now be equal to 2 raised to the power 6. These two cancel out each other since they are of the same base. Our k is equal to 6. So don't forget, m is equal to m plus k. So the value of n is 7, y k is 6. This shows that m will be equal to 13. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed before. Don't forget to share this video to your brothers, your sisters. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Thank you for watching.